All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today we are gonna be breaking down an Extreme Z Awakening that I can say with the utmost confidence, not a lot of people are looking forward to. It's uh, Int Angel Golden Frieza. He's definitely not the best EZA we've seen in recent memory, but nonetheless, he is gonna be dropping on Global in a couple days. So in this video, we're gonna go over all of his details and uh, get you guys ready for the release. Okay, so with that said, let's uh, actually start with the Extreme Z Battle event first. The weakness is Defenders of Justice, and of course there's no increased drop category. And for the levels, it's your standard one Dragonstone per clear for the first 30 levels. You're getting some Awakening Medals, you're getting the uh, Int Orbs, you're getting some Int Kai's as well along the way. And once you clear all 30 levels, you're going to be getting, in terms of total rewards, all the Extreme Z Awakening medals you need to fully Extreme Z Awaken your Angel Golden Frieza, enough Int Orbs to Rainbow an Int Unit, 11 Grand Kai's, and also 30 Dragon Stones. And on top of that, you do get, uh, let's see, four more stones from the missions as well. And there's also some uh, damage reduction, which you need to pay attention to. So basically, after level 3, uh, the Frieza will have additional damage reduction of 70% against all tech types, which makes sense. And then after level 12, there's additional damage reduction of 80% against tech types, and also extreme type units. So ideally, you want to run a full super type team, which... Uh, it's going to be easy if you run a Defenders of Justice team, since I'm pretty sure there aren't any extreme units in that category. But let's quickly take a look. Uh, there you go. That is the Defenders of Justice uh, category. Like I said, no extreme units. So uh, if you can, don't bring any extreme units on your team. And uh, of course, your best options would be to go with uh, as many Fizz units as you can, since, you know, the Frieza is int, right? So that is the Extreme Z uh, battle event. Now from there, let's talk about this Frieza and uh, go into detail about why people are not super high on him. So before the Extreme Z Awakening, leader skill is Resurrected Warriors category K plus three, HP plus 130%, attack and defense plus 170%, or int types K plus three, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack, immense damage, and greatly lowers defense. And uh, passive is attack plus 150% and defense plus 50%. Super class allies uh, and enemies attack minus 15%. And uh, links and categories, I'm sure you guys uh, don't care about too much since they stay the same after the Extreme Z Awakening. So that was before the EZA, not a lot of defense. Um, some attack, I mean 150% back in the day when he came out in 2017 was pretty high right but now it's basically nothing so with the extreme z awakening his new leader skill is resurrected warriors category k plus three hp attack and defense plus 170 percent or int types k plus three hp attack and defense plus 120 percent super attack uh, greatly raises defense for one turn that's nice causes immense damage and greatly lowers defense and then passive is attack plus 250 percent up from 150 and then defense plus 150 percent up from 50 percent all enemies attack minus 15 percent super class allies and enemies attack minus five percent so the debuff to super class allies is not as substantial anymore but it's still there which is uh, kind of unfortunate. I mean, before he was debuffing your super class allies 15%, right? Which is crazy. Like, you would never really want to run him with super class allies. Now you kind of can if you want to on like uh, reps of U7 team or whatever, but it's still not great. I mean, 7% is still not nothing, right? Uh, plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% when facing a super class enemy. So if you're facing super type, he gets a ton more attack and defense which is uh nice and then attacks effective against all types when there is another rep sub universe 7 category ally attacking in the same turn so that's also uh, a nice bonus if you're running a u7 team or just having one other 
use seven unit in rotation like the um, uh, Fizz transforming Frieza for example, then he's getting uh, attacks effective against all types which of course helps with his damage output right so uh, that is the Extreme Z Awakening guys taking a quick look at the stats post Extreme Z Awakening he's getting up to 18,929 HP 17,902 attack and 13,348 defense which is actually quite high so defense looking good attack honestly uh, a little low a little low compared to some of the more recent Extreme Z Awakenings but not bad either and the hp is just whatever so um that is the int angel golden frieza extreme z awakening now um is he a bad extreme z awakening like is he you know just not usable after the z8 definitely not right like he's definitely much much better that's plain to see he gets a lot more defense he gets a lot more attack he gets the attacks effective against all types so um there's a lot to like here but it just wasn't enough you know what i mean like it just his defense is, is just okay it, it's whatever it really it's not impressive in any way his offense um i mean it's also pretty decent like he'll put up some big numbers but he doesn't have like any additional supers any additional attacks uh a lot of times it's just gonna be the one super um and it's not like a crazy high attack stat either, like it's okay, so, you know, there's also not that much to be impressed about damage-wise, so overall, I mean, he's just okay, <laughs> he's just okay, and it just feels like this is an Extreme Z Awakening that will not age well at all, um, in fact, uh, I think a lot of people would argue that, you know, like on release, he's not aging well if that makes sense like basically on release he's not good enough so um yeah it's kind of a shame it's kind of a shame like once again you know i'm not saying he's not usable on uh most events in the game i mean at this point like you can get through like super battle road you can get through you know no kind of fans and stuff like that like 90 percent of the content in the game with a lot of units so this guy would be fine in most events it's just on the harder ones um like red zone or even extreme super battle road he might struggle a bit for defense uh just anything new right anything that came out recently uh he will struggle defensively and then offensively he doesn't really do enough to offset the defensive liabilities you know so um oh of course there's also the fact that he still debuffs super class allies which is just dumb i don't know why they insist on keeping like certain aspects of units like this that are like negative you know like with the extremes the awakening i think you should just completely get rid of them that's just how i feel about it but um you know obviously they like to keep some things like this like for example the uh tech super saiyan 3 broly still reducing his own defense even though it's less still reducing defense with getting orbs which is you know not good so um yeah, Int, Angel Golden Frieza, just kind of a mid Extreme Z Awakening. I don't even know if, if like mid is uh, being too generous. <laughs> Maybe it is. I mean, people are, are pretty harsh on this guy, and I don't think he's unusable by any means. I don't think he's like horrible by any means. I just think he's not great. Um, he's just kind of meh. He's just a meh Extreme Z Awakening. So um like i said you know when i started the video not a lot of people are that hyped for him for good reason i'm still interested in uh you know running him on some events and uh just getting to use him again after all these years but uh he's probably not gonna have like a regular rotation in my lineup either or in my teams so that's it guys, that is the Int Angel Golden Frieza Extreme Z Awakening, uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys are hyped for him, uh, probably not, like I said, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, thank you so much for watching, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video, sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content, and until next time, have an awesome, awesome day, I'm Tiger, with Tiger, Uppercut Media, signing out.